Uh, good morning. Just like Bob was mentioned, a horrible crash on the Jersey Turnpike. Hank Flynn is there. This is fairly close to Robbinsville. Yeah, actually, Mike, we're in Robbinsville. If you take a look, what you're looking at is the county road about a half a mile south of the bridge that goes 195 over the New Jersey Turnpike exit 7A. This is Edgebrook Circle Road. The truck went from camera left directly into the supports underneath this bridge. So that's where the cleanup uh, and the crash site was. What I got for you this hour is the latest uh, from New Jersey State Police on what happened here last night. According to them, the crash occurred at 922 uh, northbound the inner roadway. Preliminary investigation, according to State Police, reveals a Peterbilt tractor trailer pulling a semi-trailer loaded with watermelons traveling north in a roadway of the turnpike. The Peterbilt ran off the road to the right, according to State Police, and impacted the guardrail and a concrete bridge support. The male driver, according to state police, was ejected, sustained fatal injuries. A male passenger in the truck also sustaining fatal injuries. Uh, according to state police, the right lane of the northbound inner roadway was closed for approximately six hours, uh, and the north outer roadway was closed prior to the crash for construction. Um, so that's what we've been working on, and we got a lot of video that we've been showing you all morning long. Uh, of the uh, the work that uh, emergency crews have been doing both to try to get um, all of the crash debris. Uh, certainly uh, hours ago, uh, those uh, those poor people who were hurt in the crash were taken away, but now it's a matter of getting the road uh, straightened out. There was extensive damage to guardrails and maybe some to the bridge. Again, it's right underneath the bridge right behind us, uh, how it's being cleaned up and repaired. There's less activity down on the roadway right now. Um, but we, uh, I did email the state troopers because he said that the outer roadway, which has been closed, was closed for construction anyway. And what he told me uh, when he came back, because this was not listed on the New Jersey Turnpike website, this particular construction project, what he told me is that construction projects like this typically open back up in time for the morning rush. So we are anticipating those outer lanes of the northbound Turnpike to open back up at some point when this crash site has been recovered from. But that's the latest from here in Robbinsville, Mike. Okay, uh, thank you. Keep us updated on that as things change, and it sounds like it's going to change pretty quickly. Uh, 606. In Camden County.